There we go. All right. I like it. I don't know who that guy was, but he was super excited to see me with my camera out, so I had to record him. Hey everyone, today we are here at Catalina Island, Avalon, and we just got off the boat. You can see it behind us. And today we're gonna to be walking around, traveling, seeing what's going on with Catalina Island. And we're also gonna be giving you some travel tips. That way you can maximize your time when you come here. Travel tip numero uno. If you get seasick or you might think you're gonna be seasick, make sure you bring some nausea medicine because me and my wife got a little bit seasick and it would have made it a lot better trip if we took some Dremamine or some medicine. Travel tip number two, make sure you bring four quarters if you want to lock up your stuff for the day. Okay, all it takes is four quarters, so have the change with you. You can lock it up for the day. If you're just doing a day trip, you know, you could go around, eat, do whatever you got to do. But the thing is, if you need to use a locker, make sure you bring four quarters with you. Travel tip number three, if you are a U.S. citizen, you do not need a passport to travel to Catalina Island. If you do not have snorkeling equipment, no worries. You could rent out snorkeling equipment right here when you get off the boat. Travel tip numero cuatro, that's four if you don't speak Spanish. On Mondays and Tuesdays, there's a cruise ship that lands here. So those are the busiest days. Stay away from Monday, Tuesday, and then Saturday, of course, because it's also going to be a busy day. So keep that in mind when planning a trip here. Travel tip numero cinco. They don't let too many cars come on Avalon. There's a waiting list of 20 years or something crazy like that. So there is golf carts. If you want to rent them, you could get around with a golf cart. I mean, it's not, it's not a big city. So we just pretty much walk around and that's our mode of transportation. You could rent bikes also. For those of you wondering, they do allow dogs here on Catalina Island and on the ferry. Watching it end again and again. I feel it in ways you follow me. Drift into places I should leave. So close to the edge of something so perfect. We were too scared to take the leap. I'm missing the way. on the pier you're able to rent snorkeling gear you're able to rent scuba gear kayaks boats whatever whatever you want to rent and as I, you can see there's a spot there another spot there and another spot right behind me so you know take your pick of whatever you want to rent and see how much the prices are and you could even rent boats right here too we're here on the pier and you could already see the little guys having a blast I'm gonna eat you then. What's that? Don't be kinda of shy. Close to the 
travel tip number seven if you're coming just for one day and you want to shower up there is showers here across three dollars for five minutes and there's a lot of public restrooms here on avalon as well Travel tip number eight here on Catalina Island. Behind me, I have a casino. They call it a casino, but it's really a theater and it's a ballroom. So you can rent it out if you're having a party or a wedding or something, okay? Um, it is not a casino as you think. It's Italian for gathering, so they called it a casino. If you do want to see some casino or gambling, you could check out my video when I went to Las Vegas. my wife come out to Catalina Island every year we try to make it our little summer tradition and last year we took a picture with the casino in the background and we're gonna try to I guess redo the picture this year and uh, baby. Huh? now with the baby now with the baby um, the only difference is gonna be the baby of course and then maybe my gut got a little bit bigger but uh, we'll see we'll check out the before and after and see how it looks Travel tip number nine, numero nueve. Okay, so if you want to drink, okay, do not drink next to the pier where the ferry leaves you, okay? If you drink there, you're gonna get ticketed, you're gonna get arrested. Nobody wants to get arrested when they're on vacation. If you wanna drink, if you wanna have a good time, you come to Descanso Beach. Travel tip number 10, numero 10. If you guys are into adventure, okay, you could come here, you could camp, you could hike, and you could even zip line. Every time we go somewhere, we try to find a good spot to eat at. That way we keep coming back and coming back. And last year, we tried out Coyote Joe's and... No bueno. It wasn't good. Like, the food was okay. The service was awful. So, no. So, let's try a new place this time. Different spot. This year, me and my wife want to try out Lobster Trap. It's the restaurant that I got right behind me. There's a line outside the door, so that's actually a good sign. Probably good food in there. We yelped it and some friends recommended it. So let's go try it out. I ordered the ceviche and it was good, delicious, the lemon, the it was just fresh fish. I guess that's a good thing about being here on the island, you get fresh seafood and it was delicious. What did you order? I got the sal grilled salmon sandwich, it was really, really good. I tasted it, it was good and, and again, they fresh quick, fish. They were quick, quick service and it was, small place. It so is small. Probably you're going to wait a little bit but it's worth it travel tip number 11 is if you want to come here to see the bison not buffalo bison if you want to see the bison and you get on one of these hummer tours right here just make sure you don't go to the east end tour if you go to the east end there's not that many buffalo i did that last year and i saw a little black dot about five miles away and they're like there's the buffalo so if you want to go see the buffalo you got to make sure you get the center or a west tour do not get the east tour So 
it's kind of been our tradition to go to Lloyd's and get ice cream. And we just do it every year. I like vanilla with sprinkles. Which one do you like? The cotton candy is my favorite. Cotton candy. I'll stick with my vanilla. It's time to go snorkeling and I almost forgot to throw on my wetsuit. Now I'm ready. because the water is freezing cold and it's nice little mass too. Catalina travel tip number 12. If you want to check out the best fish snorkeling area right behind the casino, there's a nice little spot. Number. I forget what travel tip number we're on for some reason. Yeah, I forget what number we're on for some reason. Okay, anyways, if you're coming to Catalina Island and you're gonna stay the night and you're gonna get a hotel, Make sure you book in advance because in the summertime, it's crazy expensive. You want to pay somewhere around $120 a night for your hotel. So if you don't book in advance and you come in the summertime, you're going to be paying somewhere around $300 a night. So be prepared for that. And also you could get on Groupon and if you're going to stay two nights or more, you could save some money that way because that way you'll spend somewhere around $130 in the peak season. We did our picture recreation, okay? We took our picture last year when we came here, and then we did the one from this year, okay? Now with the baby. Now with the baby, you know, we were not pregnant yet. Almost pregnant, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we were almost pregnant, and uh, we did our picture. So this is the one year later picture. You guys uh, tell us what you think in the comments below, and we're gonna post it up right. couple of things to consider when coming to Catalina Island okay so you have four ports that have ferries that come out to Catalina Island starting with the one most south closest to San Diego we got Dana Point okay and then we got Newport Beach Newport Beach has group on deal so be on the lookout for those it's actually like 50% off okay so if you do go out of Newport Beach look for the discounts uh, the next one is gonna be Long Beach that's the one that we took today 
and then above Long Beach we have San Pedro. If you're interested in traveling to two harbors, that's the other harbor that uh, Catalina Island has, you could go to two harbors. If not, all the other ports come to Avalon, which is what we toured today. And also another thing is when you pay for parking, parking is going to be somewhere around $19 for 24 hours, and that's between the four ports. So, you know, you should consider parking, paying for parking as well. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell. That way you get all the notifications for the new videos. Check out my other videos like Disneyland, California Adventure, Las Vegas, okay? Do not be timid. Comment on the comment box below if you have any questions or any comments. Thank you. Bye-bye.